name is Princess Tacha and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to find out how a tarot reader would describe you. Before I begin, I would be very grateful if you're willing to subscribe to my channel and also please click the bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me. Thank you so much guys for always supporting my channel and thank you so much for being here. All right, now in front of you, there are three beautiful pictures. Your job is super easy. Just imagine the question, how a tarot reader would describe you and pick the first picture that comes into your mind. Now, remember, you are welcome to watch another pile because there must be another message for you there. I'll see you on your reading. Hi, my viewers who pick group number one, welcome to your reading. If you're picking group number one, this is your reading. My reading is timeless, you are meant to see it right now. All right, guys, go ahead, grab your coffee, tea, drink, or snack, and we're going to hang out together, having fun, to find out what a tarot reader would describe you, or how a tarot reader would describe you. All right. Now, before I begin, I would be very grateful if you're willing to subscribe to my channel um, and also don't forget to click the bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for always supporting me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. And please also comment and like this video and also share. For my viewers who pick group number one, how a tarot reader would describe you. How a tarot reader would describe you. Okay. How a tarot reader would describe you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, group number one. How a tarot reader would describe you? You have the Eight of Swords. So, right off the bat, the tarot reader would describe you as someone that um, really have this strong perseverance. Okay? Um, you're really good under pressure. You're really good to work under pressure, you're really good to study under pressure, and you're really good uh, to survive under pressure. This is my diamond uh, group, meaning that to shape you become a diamond, it requires you to be pushed, to be shaped, to be trained under pressure, okay, with the eight of swords here. Now, what else do you have? You have King of Swords. So, uh, a tarot reader would describe you as someone that has this strong intellectual ability. You are someone that is so smart. You love reading a book, you love studying, or you love educating yourself. Um, some of you might go literally to school or university or went to university in the past or higher learning, higher degree. But some of you also love just educating yourself through social media, through internet, uh, study by, your, by yourself, you know, study by doing. So you have this all experiences um, that you gain knowledge from, okay? But there is this power of mind. So there is this intelligent mindset. So you're someone that is intelligent. You are book smart. You are street smart. You have a lot of knowledge because you have a lot of experience too for some of you. Please be mindful that this is general reading, so take what resonates, okay? But with the King of Swords, a tarot reader will also describe you as someone that has this uh, influence. You have the influence of your mind, so uh, you can deliver the message or deliver knowledge or sharing knowledge really well with other people. Now, uh, with the King of Swords, a tarot reader will also describe you as someone that is so ambitious, okay? So this is... Um, my group that is uh, ambitious um, that a tarot reader would describe you, okay? What else? How a tarot reader would describe you? 
the chariot all right with the chariot here you're someone that really love traveling you really love going from places to places you love creating new experiences for yourself you are someone that believe in the progress you are in the progress to be successful and you're someone that looks like you're successful or you truly successful okay so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that confident to always move forward you know to believe in the progress and in the journey to eventually reach your dream reach your success um with the chariot here you move uh pretty fast meaning that you believe in your skill and talent and ability so a uh, tarot reader would definitely describe you as someone that truly confident a confident in the mindset a confident in your mind in your intellectual capabilities too okay but also confident in the journey and love traveling okay uh, you probably have a sign uh, leo as a sign okay some of you doesn't have to be that way but you also have an air sign with the king of swords and the eight of swords uh, check your Mercury sign in your birth chart. Um, uh, that's probably really important related to how you communicate and how your brain operate. Okay, and your rising sign too. Uh, you probably have Sun, Moon, Rising, or Mercury in the air sign. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, um, and Libra. Okay. Now, what else? How a tarot reader would describe you? <clears throat> For my viewers, group number one, please show me. Please describe to me viewers who pick group number one. Nope, thank you. Please describe to me if you were so big group number one. Thank you. You have net worker. Unity through the sharing of information and gender social awareness and empathy. Yeah, so you are someone that's truly smart in networking. You know how to to appeal to other people to collect other people to get to know other people okay so you're someone that truly understand uh, the sharing of information and knowledge and the social awareness and empathy so because you are a, an, an empath okay some of you a tarot reader will describe you as someone that is an empath okay empathy but you also someone that love networking you love to get to know other people and you don't have to be an extrovert to be able to be a good networker you truly appreciate your relationship either it's business relationship or romantic or platonic okay so you're someone that is such a networker that uh, that's a tarot riddle would uh, describe you okay <clears throat> what else you have detective yeah you have this great power so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that has this great powers of observation now with the king of swords you rely on your mind on your intellectual ability you know uh, to observe your surrounding to have that research maybe you are a researcher or you literally study to be a detective or law career or political career but you are human rights or human resource okay or psychology but you have this great power of observation and intuition and a tarot reader would describe you as someone that has this desire to seek out the truth so you're someone that really love to research to seek out the truth seek out the meaning of life and um, you're really good in the fields of psychology human resource human rights law politics um, marketing uh, business or uh, business administration or entrepreneur okay so you're someone that like that okay some of you okay this is general reading take what resonates okay guys now what else okay how a tarot reader would describe you for my viewers who pick group number one
you have here the eternal child yeah so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that has that eternal child still living inside your heart you never um lose your sight of what childhood is to be you know you really remember how good your childhood for some of you okay but you have that um joyful joyful vibes of a of the eternal child okay it can also describe as a uh, you look very young there is this youthful energy about you because this eternal child appear here guys all right now with the eternal child here um a tarot reader would also describe you as someone that you know you're connected to the timeless ageless and infinite aspects of life you look very radiant and you are fearless you fearless to seek joy above all else and at any cost so this is my uh, group that really love to have fun having fun regardless of your age maybe you are already 50 or 40s right now in your 40s or 50s or your 30s but you always just want to have fun okay when you have kids or if you already have kids right now it doesn't stop you from having fun from sick something that will cherish your soul cherish your childhood for an example some of you regardless of your age you love playing lego you love collecting dolls you love um, watching cartoons you love going to theme parks that related to childhood memories like disney parks universal studio you love watching um you know cartoons or a comedy movie you love playing toys still you know you love uh playing lego for example you know something that truly bring joy to you okay um there is this freedom inside of you and uh you naturally very popular so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that naturally popular perhaps even famous so you have this uh maybe online platform that you have some followers or you're really famous among your peers or colleagues you're really famous as someone that seek joy and it's a joy to be around and you have uh, this you know you remind us truly of what is possible what is magical about this precious life you're someone that truly believe in your own ability like a child like an innocent child you still until now regardless of your age you believe that your life meant to be for something good okay that you are uh, a good person and you are you know you have this eternal child that you protected that you want to keep that dreams alive the joy alive you know and so then you will attract joyful thing because you are this joyful eternal child okay so if you're picking group number one and you come far to the reading i want you to comment below i attract joy okay i attract joy because we want to practice this law of attraction just bring something good to our life by speaking something good speaking good writing good and then good things will come to our life eventually okay so if you're coming far to the reading and you're picking group number one i want you to comment below i attract joy one more time i attract joy yep that's really good okay so what else here okay How a tarot reader would describe you for my viewers who pick group number one. Thank you. You have the womb. Now it is very interesting because the womb coming after the eternal child. But then we realize that we all from the womb. From our mother's womb okay so then after the womb born into a baby they become child and here you are having this the womb car really special okay so this is really no coincidence guys um as i can see it here that you got the womb card and a tarot reader would describe you as someone that has this origin story okay you really respect your ancestor your parents your grandparents your culture your tradition 
and you really respect where you came from the tradition the origin your original culture your home country you know your ancestors here so everything has an origin story the womb card asks us to contemplate the beginning beyond the beginning the mother beyond the mother in a world that often negates the power and necessity of feminine principles this card returns us to the warmth tenderness and sacred intelligence from which we came it is a card of receiving not achieving of accepting love from the mother of us all so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that has this ability to receive not just to give to receive because you received the nutrition when you were the womb in your mother's womb but also a tarot reader would describe you as someone that truly come from this core principle of your origin okay so study more about your ancestor where you came from your culture your mother your mother's mother your ancestors your grandparents okay people that came before you shaping you for who you are right now okay and this is my pal that a tarot reader would describe you are someone that truly reborn because the eternal child coming before the womb so you reborn here to do something very special in the name of love for love for humanity for the love of humanity in general okay and the love of your origin and ancestor in particular so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that truly came into the world with something to finish a mission you have a mission a unique mission which is different for each and every one of you that pick group number one okay and so then you are like the womb is everywhere because the womb is full of people that came uh, from the mother came from becoming a womb before okay and so then we actually are within it as it is within us that's the core principle and the intuitive message for you who pick group number one we are within it as it is within us we came from the womb we came from our mother okay so be more receptive of your surrounding and something that will bring goodness into your life okay what what is the thing that you could do to honor the feminine that came before you that you came through from your mothers that the feminine okay so a tarot reader also describe you as someone that truly special you have that special a uh, very special mission in this life okay you are born for a reason well in fact everyone born for a reason but for this particular time you are meant to see this message because you pick group number one and so then a tarot reader would describe you as someone that really consider um to think about mother earth and so mother earth will have a mother too so think about the source the source of it all okay that's uh, really good okay what else how a tarot reader would describe you next how a tarot reader would describe you for my viewers who pick group number one thank you Okay. this today is very interesting guys but i'm so happy that you guys all here with me all right you have the thread Ooh, this is very interesting okay the thread here now um with the thread here the tarot reader will describe you as um as someone that has this path special path okay the thread it has this red thread here this is like a path life is a tangle so much happens simultaneously and circuitously leaving us grappling for meaning and direction in a network of distractions and a network of period here okay uh, but you my dear uh, group number one who pick group number one here um wait let me fix this for a moment yeah yeah 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, um, you need there is this that intuitive message for you with this card. A tarot reader will describe you. You need to recall a moment in your life when you felt fully alive. Okay, so this is my group that truly want to always recall themselves the moment when they feel truly alive maybe when it's your vacation your birthday um you know holidays with family or your wedding or when you achieve something great but the threat is waiting for you um to recall that memories okay the memories when you felt fully alive when you felt fully alive in this world okay so the tarot reader would describe you as someone that truly actively trying to do something meaningful in their life something meaningful meaning uh something that will make you happy that will make you feel truly alive in this world maybe you love adventure traveling you love playing to the, you know, on the beach you love water sport you love you know uh, diving swimming you love uh painting you love achieving something great creating new online content uh you know uh, pass the exam finish the school get a side hustle even though you already retired right now um fixing your financial feeling very capable of doing everything that you want to achieve in this life regardless of your age okay so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that um never lose that youthful spirit of the eternal child to truly reborn okay the womb to truly reborn regardless of your age and finding meaning in everyday life and get goals small or big goals to still feel truly alive in this world regardless of your age okay my dear uh, group number uh one now for the last card we are gonna find out more how a tarot reader would describe you for my viewers who pick group number one Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Transformation, new beginning, butterfly, 44. So that's probably a number also for you really to uh, resonate with you. But a tarot reader would describe you as this butterfly, as someone that truly want to always transform their life, okay? Always have this glow up, always give total effort in their glow up, in their transformation. And you always seek new beginnings, okay? New beginnings in your or new version of you. You always want to evolve as a better version of yourself regardless of your age okay it doesn't matter maybe now you're already retired already around 50s or 40s or near retirement age or thinking about retired soon due to your ability to already secure your retirement money or side hustle you're thinking about starting new beginning either new hobbies uh, you want to visit new places you want to start new business but if you're still in school or still in um in a workplace you want to seek new beginning like new talent new skills you want to embrace uh, new things into your life so that this is a uh, transformation and glow up that a tarot reader would describe about you that you always eager never lose your um a youthful spirit okay regardless of your age that you always want to seek new beginnings and um, you want to make your wish come true by transforming yourself to be this beautiful butterflies okay guys all right my dear group number one that's your reading for today please remember that you are welcome to watch another pal because there must be another message for you there you also welcome to watch my other videos on my playlist because i have so many timeless pick a card video reading that you will absolutely love it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me if you come far to this reading and you're picking group number one i want you to comment below i attract joy one more time please comment below if you're picking group number one 
I attract joy because we want to attract so many pure, beautiful and positive things into our life. Thank you so much, group number one. Thank you for being here. Thank you for always supporting my channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you and bye-bye. Hi, my dear group number two. For my viewers who pick group number two, welcome to your reading. My reading is timeless. You are meant to see it right now. All right, guys, go ahead, grab your coffee, tea, drink, or snacks, and we're going to hang out together to find out how a tarot reader would describe you. All right. Um, now, before I begin, I will be very grateful if you're willing to subscribe to my channel and also please click the bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me. I'm so thankful, guys, for everyone that always support my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your existence and thank you for always supporting my channel. All right. For my viewers who pick group number two, please describe me. Please describe the viewers who pick group number two. Please describe the viewers who pick group number two. Thank you. You have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so right off the bat, the tarot reader would describe you as a fire sign. You have a very strong fire sign in your birth chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be that way. Sun, moon, rising, but it's for some of you. Please be mindful that this is general reading, so take what resonates, okay? But you have that influence of a fire sign in your birth chart. Very strong. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is either in your sun, or moon or rising sign or your Jupiter or your Venus or your birth chart in general, okay? Um, right off the bat also, with the Knight of Wands here appear as the first card, a tarot reader would describe you as someone that has this high intuition, okay? You have this strong intuition. You have this uh, ability to go with the flow, to go with the flow but never forget your dreams okay a tarot reader also would describe you as someone that easy to adapt go with the flow easy to adapt to your surrounding and you have very strong and great intuition someone that has a very strong intuition here okay with this uh, knight of wands now what else a tarot reader would describe you as the Knight of Cups. Now, with the Knight of Cups here, um, a tarot reader would describe you as someone that has pride. You have confidence in your contribution. This is a card about pride, a card about great prospect. So, a tarot reader would describe you as someone that is so promising, promising in the future for your vocation for your career for your life in general okay uh, even for your retirement later if you're already in your 40s right now but this is also describing you as someone that has a proposal that you are in the middle of propose something or you about to be proposed okay and a tarot reader would describe you also someone that in the middle of a mission so you have a mission to finish okay this is someone that never afraid to courageous okay brave enough to reach their dreams to uh, run after their dreams to get their dreams okay you're in the middle also to building to build your legacy for some of you okay now if knight of wands appear together with the knight of cups which is fellow knights this is someone that has this fire and intuition in reaching their dreams okay with the with the knight of cups is the card of uh, prospect the card of pride the card of proposal so in order for you to get what you want you use the power of fire you have the energy of a fire okay you have that strong intuition and uh, adaptability and an ability to go with the flow all right that's really good now what else what a tarot reader would describe about you how a tarot reader would describe you group number two you have the five of swords yeah with the five of swords here you are a strong knight because knight of cups and the knight of wands appear twice 
meaning that there is this strong character of a knight. You have this courageous to rise to the top of conflict, to rise to the top of struggle, to overcome your obstacles. So a tarot reader would describe you as someone that really, um, really strong, really strong and really smart in dealing with competition, in dealing with struggle, okay? So that's what I see it here. That's what a tarot reader would describe you. Now, what else? How a tarot reader will describe my group number two. How a tarot reader would describe my group number two. How a tarot reader would describe group number two. How a tarot reader would describe group number two. Thank you. You have storyteller. Yeah, a tarot reader would describe you as someone that is so entertaining. Uh, you're such an entertainer. You have the soul of entertainer, a storyteller. Maybe you won English competition about poetry reading, storytelling, uh, speech contest. But you have this ability to tell a story. You have the ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. You're really good in making a movie. Uh, or become an artist, actor, theater, um, or singer, or, um, you know, dancing. Something to tell a story here. Very entertaining person. So you're really good in entertainment business, or you're really good in always um, uploading new content in your online platform, TikTok, Instagram, whatever online platform that you have, because you have this natural skill of a storyteller. You're so entertaining. People love watching you. This is the card of an entertaining. So whatever you create is so, so artistic, okay? Because you, be, you have this ability to tell a story behind your creation. That's really beautiful, guys, okay? Because it's so rare, this rare ability to truly tell a story and very entertaining, okay? You have that really natural skill. That's what a tarot reader would describe you as a storyteller. You are a great storyteller, okay? Now you have the mother. You have this, you are such a nurturing person. You're so nurturing, you're so patient, and you have this unconditional love, okay? You have this unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life, giving birth to your creation, giving birth to your new project, giving birth to your new kid or family, or giving birth to a new group, okay? Giving birth to new ideas, because you have this ability and patience, okay? You have this nurturing. Okay, you are uh, have a great intuition and have a great pride and joy. Okay, so now if you picking group number two and you're coming far to the reading, I want you to comment below. I attract love. Okay, I attract love because we want to practice this law of attraction. Uh, and saying something positive about ourselves, writing something positive about ourselves, and then in return, something positive will come into our life, okay? So if you're coming far to the reading and you're picking group number two, I want you to comment below, I attract love. One more time, I attract love, okay? That's really good because you are this uh, nurturing that you're giving love to other people and in return, you will attract love. So please comment below group number two, I attract love okay anyway thank you so much for um subscribing to my channel and always support me okay guys now what else what else okay how a tarot reader would describe you please describe people that pick group number two please describe people that pick group number two Please describe people that pick group number two. Thank you. You have the sustainer. Ooh, this is very interesting, guys. 
Now with the sustainer guys, this is someone is a peacemaker. So a tarot reader would describe you as someone that is peacemaker. You love uh, peace. You're really good to be a counselor, a mediator. Okay, someone that really good in mediate, you're really good in negotiation, either business negotiation or negotiation in general. You love looking at two sides to make a win-win solution. So you're really good. Maybe you're a counselor yourself or negotiator or mediator, okay? Um, the sustainer, a work behind the scene, tending to the task of life. So Tarot Reader also describe you as someone that work behind the scene okay probably you literally not working in public but work behind the public but you are the core the one who sustain it all the peacemaker the sustainer is at peace in the process of life knowing there is no start or finish to humble yet meaningful tasks they have a natural inclination to nourish others to urge to archive to preserve earth's resources to consider environmental impact to see their role in the divine cycle of life. B, C, to nurture, to mother, okay, to nourish. So this is really no coincidence, guys. This is a confirmation of validation that you're someone that truly, someone that can preserve the, the situation, that love peace. You realize you consider your impact into society. You see your role in the divine cycle of life. This is my group that born with the divine role. You know, this is my people that really care about environment, really care about the world in general, about animal. You have a particular interest about environment and animal, okay? You also really care about human in general. You're really nurturing and nourishing human. Maybe your role is not as glamorous as other people, but then you really, truly you know you hold very important role you hold very important role in sustaining especially the relationship so this is my group that really um bring harmony into relationship um that bring peace the one that unite the family the one that unite the organization or the one that unite the people in general now it is actually within ourself as the sustainer you know everyone has this role as the sustainer in their life you know but at, at this particular time when you see this message because you pick group number two this the sustainer card this speak to you to give you message and to give you meaning um there is this difference between maintaining and sustaining okay so which action that truly describe you whether you are maintaining or sustaining okay and only you can answer that okay that's the intuitive message for you um my dear group number two if you come far to the reading and you're picking group number two please comment below i attract love okay please comment below i attract love because we're gonna attract love and positive things into our life all right next what else How would a tarot reader describe you, group number? Okay, just one. How a tarot reader would describe you, group number two? Thank you. You have the bridge. Okay. Now, it's really important we see it as the whole card because the bridge coming after the sustainer. The sustainer is the upholder, the peacemaker, and the bridge is the bridge, a place where people cross paths, cross world. So you are the messenger here. You are the connector. You're someone that a tarot reader would describe you as someone that connect other people, that that is, you are the bridge yourself, okay? You connect other people to reach uh, final uh, goals in their life, okay? You bring, uh, you make life easier, okay? With this uh, card, you make other people life easier with this. Um, the bridge card here appear here, okay? Now with the bridge card, it's also the card of the gate, the connection and the line, okay? 
Bridges are built to connect two worlds. They create flow, allowing us to travel between realms, ideologies, personalities. So you are someone that has this rare ability to see two sides. Like I told you earlier, negotiator, okay? You have this ability to see two sides uh, from every uh, scenario of every events in your life okay and the bridge between the everyday world and the sacred world this card tell you to study the connection between the seemingly disconnected parts of your life and then you should remember that the bridge cannot be forced it must be made with love or its structure will not withstand an inevitable weather of life so it's really important uh uh, so a child reader will describe you as someone that you don't want to do something half. You want to do everything with your heart. You put your heart in your creation. You put your heart into your study. You put your heart into your career or your vocation. Okay, And use that bridge to connect other people. To connect your mission. To reach your goals. Okay guys. What else? How a tarot reader would describe my group number two. Thank you. You have the mask. Really interesting here. Okay. Now with the mask here, guys. Um, We see the picture of colorful and dark there. You see the colorful part and the dark part. Now, we often think of a mask as something that conceals our identity. But this is my card that the mask meaning the performance, the persona. So a tarot reader would describe you as someone that really care about your appearance. But also you are such a performer. Like I told you earlier, the storyteller. Now it repeat again, appear with another card, the mask. You are in the realm of theater. So anything is possible. The world is theater. Anything is possible in the world. Speak with the other's voice, embody the other's limbs. You are taking part in the ritual of expanding the self. There may, there may be mischief and deception around and others may be trying on new masks too. No one is sure who is who. It is likely you have become so attached to a single mask that you need to fall face forward into this perception bending time. So you need to reveal who you are. So a tarot reader would describe you as someone that um want to reveal to the world who you are want to show to the world what kind of person you are you want to show to the world your creation your creativity your arts your project your you know your career your result your hard work so show it to the world guys okay because you are this very great storyteller great performer okay you are a really nurturing person so um that's really good here guys if you're coming far to the reading please comment below i attract love okay my group number two please comment below i attract love because we want to attract love and beautiful things into our life all right now for the last card i want to show this for you please describe me Keywords will be group number two. Please describe to me viewers who pick group number two. Thank you. You have grace. Yeah. So a tarot reader would describe you as someone that is graceful. Grace, grace, blessing come to me. Come to me to set me free. So a tarot reader, again, uh, would describe you as someone that has this full of grace. You're such a graceful person. In the middle of trouble, you never lose hope of your goals, of what you are meant to do in this world. 
what you are such a sustainer now it's really interesting that the sustainer appear together with the grace card meanings that you truly such a graceful person you be able to handle uh, problems gracefully and you really elegant so a tarot reader also describe you as someone that is so elegant as someone that truly understand the concept of a peacemaker because a peacemaker is also someone that appear to be very graceful because they love peace. They surround by peace. They surround by a very beautiful energy around them that just want to create peace because they are this peacemaker. So a tarot reader again would describe you as someone that truly appreciate grace. You have this big blessing in your life, which is yourself. Your existence, your mere existence in other people's life or in organization or in family or in relationship truly bring peace. You have a mission of peace. You have a message of peace, you know. Uh, you are bring, bringing love yourself because you are love yourself, okay? You love. You are this graceful person. You are grace. Maybe your name is grace for some of you. You literally name grace. Now comment below if you truly name grace for just some of you, okay? Please be mindful that this is general reading. Take what resonate, okay? But I see it here that grace blessings to really come into your life to really come and set you free because without having that peaceful without having that peace with, without making a peace with your past it is hard to move on to have that peaceful nature for your future so then your future will be surrounded by something that is peace beautiful beautiful energy don't worry guys for other people that try to ruin your your life but as long as you always give positive energy for your own self by being this graceful person graceful things will come to you blessing will come keep coming to you okay grace blessing come to you come to you to set you free grace blessing come to me come to me to set me free all right guys if you're picking group number two and you come far to this reading please comment below i attract love one more time please comment below i attract love because we want to attract beautiful things and love into our life all right my dear group number two that's your reading for today very interesting very beautiful reading please remember that you are welcome to watch another pile because there must be another message for you there other than that you're also welcome to watch my other pick a card videos reading on my playlist because i have so many timeless pick a card reading that you will absolutely love it thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me please comment below and like this video and also share this video thank you so much guys and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye hi everyone who picked group number three welcome to your reading if you're picking group number three then this is your reading my reading is timeless you're meant to sit right now all right guys go ahead grab your coffee tea drink snacks we're going to hang out together to find out how a tarot reader would describe you all right before i begin i will be very grateful if you're willing to subscribe to my channel and also please click the bell button so you will not miss any future reading from me i'm so thankful guys for your existence i'm so thankful that you always support my channel and thank you for being here all right please describe to me my viewers who be group number three Please describe to me my viewers who pick group number three. Please describe to me my viewers who pick group number three. you have the king of wands yeah right off the bat tarot reader would describe you as someone that is so attractive okay um now with the king of wands here um you are someone that truly has this great honor you appear very honorable 
This king is wise and kind. So a tarot reader would describe you as someone that is so kind and so wise. You're such a wise person. And you are someone that has a great motivation and enthusiasm. So you're someone that uh, very enthusiastic. Okay, A tarot reader would describe you as someone that uh, a great listener also. And, and have a high standards about your life has a great taste okay um you actually not judging or criticize people so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that is not judgmental you lead by example so you show other people how to fix something or how things should be done but you're not judging them and you're not criticize them okay uh, people actually um, really look up to you. So a tarot trader really describe you as someone that people look up to. And you actually understand people's pain and their journey. And tarot trader would describe you as someone that is a great listener. And has great power. So you're someone that is powerful here, okay? If you're picking group number three, I want you to comment below, I am powerful, okay? Because we're gonna write something positive into our life, speak something positive about ourselves, and in return, something great and good will come into our life. So, king of wands, my group number three, if you're picking group number three and you come far to the reading, please comment below, I am powerful, okay? So that's uh, how a tarot reader would describe you. Now, you have this great service. So you're such a person that love helping other people. So a tarot reader would describe you as someone that truly care about other people's needs and wants to help other people too with the king of wands. This is really beautiful cards guy here over here, okay? Now what else? How a tarot reader would describe you? You have the tower. Yeah, you have that fire energy. We see that the fire coming out of the tower. Okay, uh, you have this ability to release, to release something that is not good for our for your life. Okay, you have this power to change the status quo with the destruction. You have a power to uh, change something that is not good, destroy something that is not good and bring something new, bring something new life, bring a new life. Okay. And you have a power to release with your fire energy. Maybe you have a very strong fire in your birth chart, like, uh, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius doesn't have to be that way. Sun, moon rising or your birth chart in general, but the fire sign. Okay. For some of you, please be mindful that this is general reading, take what resonates, but you have the power to release, to destroy, destruction of something bad, okay? And then you bring something new, you build something new, you release the old habit. So a tarot reader would describe you as someone that not afraid to release something that is not work again for you, okay? What else? How a tarot reader would describe you? You have the four of cups here, yeah. So you're someone that not afraid to dream big. You're not afraid to dream big, but at the same time, you're not afraid to enjoy everyday life. You're someone that really care about structure, care about routine, and care about uh, doing your job. Uh, and a perfectionist person you want to achieve stability and you care about uh, your chores too okay you really care about daily tasks you're not afraid to feel bored but you appreciate that you have that stability you appreciate your income you appreciate your moment you appreciate your life in general so that's how a tarot trader would describe you okay what else guys Please describe my group number three. Please describe my viewers who pick group number three. Please describe my viewers who pick group number three. Please describe my viewers who pick group number three. Please describe my viewers who pick group number three. Thank you. You have queen. 
the king of wands and queen wow yeah group number two um if you're picking group number sorry group number three okay if you're picking group number three and you're coming far to the reading please comment below i am powerful hey guys group number three a tarot reader would describe you as this queen and king literally okay you have this uh you radiates the regal feminine you use your benevolent authority to protect others so you have this regal royalty about you you appear very elegant so a tarot reader would describe you that you're such an elegant person you appear very abundant you look very rich and successful with this queen okay you literally probably a queen yourself or you have that fire sign or a leo a very strong leo or capricorn in your birth chart with this queen okay uh but i also see it here probably some of you is um let me say have a very strong jupiter sign check your jupiter sign in your birth chart find out what is your jupiter sign okay so you are someone that truly um have this queen quality you have authority or a leader yourself have this leadership ability but some of you also have this commanding presence so a tarot reader will describe you as someone that always steal attention wherever you go but you are someone that appear very elegant that you don't uh, you're not flashy or a attention seeker that's so cheap but you appear very elegant and in return attention naturally follows you wherever you go Ooh, very beautiful here all right now what else right how a tarot reader would describe you you have damsel now it is very rare wow it is very rare that the damsel will appear together with the queen at the same time but the damsel is the understanding of the nature of healthy romance inspire you to rely on yourself so you're such a someone that really understand your power of sexuality the power of your sensuality the power of your feminine your body your beauty you realize that you exploit your beauty for your own benefit which is okay guys you know it's okay it's normal okay you're beautiful you realize your talent and skill and your gift that you born with these beautiful qualities beautiful bodies you know royal regal maybe you were a queen and king in in past life okay literally that are princess okay damsel with this damsel but you realize that power inside of you that you truly want to just achieve greatness in your life through the power of a queen and damsel that qualities so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that relies their core principle as a queen and damsel and a king you realize that you come into this world with a powerful destiny okay this is my group that has a powerful destiny if you're picking group number three i want you to comment below i am powerful okay one more time I am powerful because we're gonna attract powerful and beautiful things in our life okay so yeah that's really good so far okay now what else please describe the viewers who pick group number three please describe the viewers who pick group number three thank you you have the healer this is literally the healer maybe some of you is a doctor nurse or physician assistant or study to be a doctor study to be a nurse or physician assistant or health industry work in the health industry or medicine or pharmacy um, or study to be a pharmacist study in the pharmacy chemist chemistry or industry or medical industry or health medicine or medicine law related to healing or spiritual okay you are maybe a spiritual guru you study about spirituality you are a healer you have this power of healing other people energy you have this uh important mission to heal to heal yourself you born to heal yourself and help other people to heal themselves you literally probably a doctor or a nurse a healer yourself but you also heal other people with your energy i sit here okay my dear group number three here that is very beautiful you are the healer a tarot reader would describe you as the healer yourself okay what else Please describe my viewers who pick group number three. Thank you. You have. 
have the bardo yeah so the bardo is you have this ability um to truly sit in darkness to be friendly with the darkness inside of you to have that healing moment because the healer coming together with the bardo meaning you heal your darkness you understand and you be friend with your darkness you're not afraid to find out your shadows you're not afraid to get to know your shadows so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that has this courageous he has courage and brave to heal your shadow to understand and get to know your shadow you know because that's part of you and heal yourself okay the healer coming together with the bardo you are my group that truly has this healing moment maybe you just healed or you're still in the process of healing yourself okay or healing other people but you come with this powerful mission of the healer either spiritual healing or physical healing okay financial healing maybe you're a counselor yourself to heal other people problem okay that's really good you really truly born with this mission and you really someone that has this strong intuition really spirituality are very good in your spirituality so if you're praying keep praying you could if you have religion keep practicing your religion or if you have spirituality practice your spirituality like meditation praying if you go to the temple go to the temple and pray and have meditation and ask the god as the universe if you go to church just keep going to church and pray keep devoting your time for your spirituality too okay now what else please describe my viewers who pick group number three okay oh it want to come out okay just one the seed Ooh, and the prayer Ooh, other group doesn't have this okay doesn't have four you have four look at this the prayer and the seed yeah everyone come from the seed and you have this seed okay you are the seed you try to grow something new so a tarot reader could describe you as someone that in the process of growth you are trying to grow your seed you're trying to plant good seed remember guys if you plant good seed positive seed if you're thinking positive positive thing will come to you so never take other people's rights never step on other people's toes you know always respect other people's rights always uh you know uh respect other people's rights okay so that's the seed if you plant good seed you will harvest good seed okay now with the prayers here tarot trader would describe you as someone that is so spiritual now it's really coming together with the healer and the bardo and other pile doesn't have four cards but you just want to come four cards you know i shuffle this card in front of you and it just want to come out so i just have to tell you this that you born truly with a very strong spiritual goal you're born with a very strong spiritual um, uh, mission okay you are the healer uh, it is a validation a, and confirmation for you to rely more on your spiritual side to pray more give prayer more to god okay to have that meditation and spiritual practice okay uh, appreciate your spiritual practice okay and your religion devote it more for your spiritual growth because that spiritual growth will also contribute to your soul growth in general guys all right that's so interesting now for the last card let me shuffle this for you guys okay Please describe my viewers with group number three. Thank you. You have psychic protection around me now a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold yeah psychic protection so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that is protected you are divinely protected because you devote yourself for that spiritual practice for prayer for meditation you know you ask protection also from the holy spirit from good spirit okay psychic protection you're divinely protected my dear group number three okay a tarot reader would describe you as someone that is just this queen and king and damsel this is very three important 
cards that appear with the masculine energy of the king of wands and the feminine energy of the queen and also the damsel showing me that you are a rare uh, group that truly show me a great potential to balance your um, uh, masculine energy and feminine energy so a tarot reader would describe you as someone that in the middle of a soul growth uh, to balance their masculine and feminine energy and in the meantime in the middle of doing that all balance you also care about your spirituality with this uh, the prayer card okay with this the the, the psychic protection so you truly is uh, being protected my dear beautiful group number three um you are divinely protected and you are such a powerful person here. You know, you're powerful in your spiritual too. So if you're picking group number three and you come far to this reading, please comment below. I am powerful because we want to attract good and powerful things into our life by speaking good, writing good about ourselves. Now, with the prayer here, this is also the card about the worship and the homage, okay? Um when you're in the state of prayer guys and when you can tell the difference that um this is my group that truly rely on their prayer there is a power in prayer there's a power of gratitude a prayer okay a gratitude spirituality so practice more gratitude because this is the intuitive message for you okay there is the power in a gratitude prayer in being grateful putting a gratefulness like i'm grateful for my life and i'm willing to uh, work for my uh, future and i attract so many abundant and prosperity in my life and and i am rich okay something like that okay a grateful practice the practice of gratitude also a uh, really important in the core lesson of the law of attraction guys okay so i guess i can call you my queen and king because this is really card appear here okay my queen and king um please don't forget whenever you are in the middle of struggle or overcome obstacles or still doing the hard work and you haven't seen your result don't forget that there is a power and in gratitude prayer and you are divinely protected so um, practice more of your spirituality of the law of attraction of being grateful of praying of thinking good thoughts about you and about other people and in return i'm sure that good things will come into your life and i'm so happy and grateful for all of you and each and every one of you that always be here support my channel okay guys thank you so much this is such a beautiful reading you're truly powerful person you born with this powerful skill of earthly pleasure abundant prosperity but also spiritual okay and you are divinely protected so if you're picking group number three and you come far to the reading please comment below i am powerful one more time please comment below i am powerful all right my dear group number three that's your reading for today please remember that you are welcome to watch another pile because there must be another message for you there other than that you're also welcome to watch my other pick a card video reading because i have so many timeless pick a card video reading that you will absolutely love it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me thank you so much guys for being here thank you for always supporting my channel other than that thank you so much and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye